Hello everybody, this is Steve K1027 here. This is going to be my second game of Jeopardy! The Junior Edition for the NES. And I have one game win total of $4,800. And I did finish, however, in a tie though, but they credited me with the win. But, yeah, somehow they did, but we'll just leave it as that, I guess. They credited me with it, they didn't call it a tie. So anyway, let's see how game two will go, and I'm joined by the Bundy Check Carla. Okay, and yes, you are looking at my the game being shown on my television as well because I figure that'd be pretty cool to do. Taking on Keith and Irene. Let's play Jeopardy. Yep. One daily double in these categories. Table talk with table in quotation marks. This or that. Color words. Fictional baddies. <laughs> inventors. And finally, Planet Zoo. Interesting. All right, table talk for a hundred, please. A list at the front of what's included in a book. Shoot, Irene. What is a table of contents? Yep. Couldn't think of that. All right. Color words for two hundred. A kind of insurance that pays hospital bills. Ooh, I thought, uh, what is, oh, Blue Cross, right, Blue Cross, right, I didn't think of that, that's alright. Planet Zoo for 200. This canine has spring flowers on its tree, but no tail. What is the dogwood? Hmm. Let's do 100. It doesn't meow, but it's a bush. Uh, not off to a good start, folks, but it's early. What is a pussy willow? Yes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. This or that 100. This is the home of the Whopper. Oh, what is Burger King? Fine, well, I'm not actually, going to do it. That's a lyrical baby. There we go. On the board with some money now. This, Yay! this and that 200. A pawn is a playing piece in this game. What is chess? Correct. This or that for 300. The branch of the armed services that the Leathernecks belong to. What is the Marines? Ah, I have a cousin that's in the Marines. Oh well. Oh well. This or that 500. The season of the year in the United States when the sun is nearest the earth. Oh, heck, I don't know. What is winter? Winter. Of course. Fictional baddies, 100. Jack found him at the top of the bean, uh, top of the beanstalk. Uh, what is? Giant. Yeah. Who is the giant? Yeah. There we go. Fictional baddies for 200. In Snow White, the Wicked Queen asks questions of this piece of furniture. What is the mirror? I haven't seen Snow White in a while. Mirror? Mm -hmm. No, not the mirror. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Irene. Doesn't know. Hmm. Oh, the magic mirror. Shoot. Had to be more specific. That's all right. Uh, fictional baddies for 300. He bullied the three little pigs. Uh, who is the big bad wolf? Big. Bad. Wolf. Yeah, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Fictional baddies for 100. The Munchkin's enemy, uh, who is the Wicked Witch? I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Oh, no, it's not. Shoot. Oh, I think I think I'd be more specific again. Dang it. Yeah, I think I should have, but uh, whoever that was, uh, Irene, got it wrong and drops to 100 is now tied with me. Yeah, I think I had to be more specific. Uh -huh. Keith. The Wicked Witch of the East. Mm -hmm. That's alright. The West. The West. Okay. Yeah. Wicked Witch of the East is the good one. Alright. This or that for honor. These four relatives appeared in Duck Soup and A Day at the Races. Uh, who are the Marx Brothers? Yep. Never seen uh, their their movies, but I do know them very well. Yep. There we go, and I got the lead. Yay! Let's do... Fictional baddies for 500. This ruler of Volcania is Captain Power's evil enemy. I don't know that either. Who is Lord Dread? Lord Dread. Uh, inventor's a hunter. The scientist who invented the telephone. Who is Alexander Graham Bell? Inventors 2 on it. The Frenchmen who invented writing for the blind. Braille. B R I I L L E. Louis Braille. I didn't know his first name. It's alright. Inventors, Inventors 3 on it. This wizard of Menlo Park lit up the world. I wouldn't know that one. I don't know it either. Too late. Yep. That's okay. No. It's alright. Uh, Venice uh, Warner. He invented the wireless telegraph. Oh, well, not, not, not one. Shoot, I know I've heard of it. No, it was Marconi. Okay, that's not who I was thinking of. It's alright. Marconi. Table Talk 200. A fabric covering placed over the surface of a table. What is a tablecloth? Yeah. Tie with Keith for second. Table talk 300. This is another name for ping pong. What is table tennis? Got the lead. Yay! Table talk for honor. On board ship, it's an honor to be invited to sit here. It's captain's table. Yeah, captain's table. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Oops. Uh, captain's table. Yeah. Yes. Table Talk 500. 
a chart showing four times one, four times two, four times. What? Oh uh, shoot, the Irene buzz in, she got it. Sorry. Yeah, time, okay. times table. <clears throat> 600 for her. Color words 100. A heated glass building for growing plants. Uh, what is a greenhouse? Color words for 300. A worthless knickknack. Worthless. Irene. What is a white elephant? Hmm. Aww. I never heard of that. I've heard of it. Inventors 500. Isaac Singer patented. Many successful sewing machines, but this man is, is credited, excuse me, as the actual inventor, who is Elias Howe. I could know that, because that's, we had that several times in that showdown of Gary's and Hollywood Square. That it. This large leafy weed smells as bad as the creature it is named for. What is the skunk cabbage? Hmm. Ew. Yeah, really. <laughs> Planet Zoo, 500. Daily Double. Irina's 1,200 is going to bet 300. This is another name for the avocado. What is the alligator pear? Yep. Got I didn't even know that. I didn't know that either. 1,500 for her. Color words, 400. A long rug rolled out for important visitors to walk on. What is the right... Yeah. A red carpet. Correct. Color words for 500. A contagious eye infection. Pink eye. Uh, Irene buzzed in. And she got it. Pink eye. Yep. Oh well. Tied with me and now the last one in. Planet Zoo for 400. This plant is a cat that grows in a pot instead of prowling the jungle. It, what is a dandelion? I'll try it. Dandelion. No. no. I was about to try. That's yeah, alright. One lost one. Good guess, though. What is the tiger lily? Oh, yeah! Oh, well. <laughs> so, so at the end of that, Irene has 2,000. I have 1,600. And Keith has 1,300. He'll start double jeopardy. Okay. He was the champion in the first Rocky movie. Uh, shh. Buzz me in. All right. What's the category? Oh, it's Rocky. Yeah. Who is, uh... Gosh. Who is... Rocky? No, not that. I was trying to pause the game so I can read the categories. That's okay. Apollo, Apollo, what's his name? Apollo what's his Creed. Name? Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah. Irene. Yep, Apollo Creed. <clears throat> Michael Jackson's singing sister. Who is Janet Jackson? That for a fact. Me too. Yep. There we go. Yay. All right. Now the categories we have: animal facts, mash, the TV show, cities, oh. cities and countries, sci-fi flicks, female singers, and Rocky. All about the movie Rocky. Female singers for 400, please. She used to be Sonny Bono's wife and singing partner. Who is Cher? Yep. Gypsies, giraffes, and thieves. I got you, Female singer 600. The outrageous female singer who thinks girls just want to have fun. Who is Cindy Lauper? Yep. 
spell it right. Cindy. Yeah. L A U P R. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I spelled Cindy right. Yep, I got it. Female singer is 800. The girl group that likes to walk like Egyptians. Who are the Bangles? Yep. Walk like Egyptians. Yep. Female singer's a thousand. This Stevie used to sing with Fleetwood Mac. Who is Stevie Nicks? Yep. Great solo artist as well. Yes. I ran that category. Let's do yep. sci fi flex for 200. This movie was the first to feature apes as rulers and humans as slaves. Uh, what are Planet of the Apes? What is Planet of the Apes? <clears throat> get your damn, get your hands off me, you damn dirty apes! <laughs> yep. Hey, end stuff. Sci-fi flex for winner. In this movie, a creature from space terrorizes humans aboard a space freighter. Oh, shoot. Oh, what is alien? Alien. Shoot. It's alright. Animal facts 200. A python is this kind of animal. What is a snake? Obviously. Sci-fi flicks for 600. Princess Leia strangled him with a chain in Return of the Jedi. I haven't seen Star Wars in a while. Who is Jabba the Hutt? Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> yep. I haven't seen that in a while. Mash for 400. The wounded are flown into camp by these. What are... Yes. Helicopters. <laughs> Correct. Sci-fi flicks for 800. Tiny aliens help elderly Earth people in this movie. What is cocoon? Now Keith buzzed in. What is batteries not included? Are you freaking kidding me? Yep. Battery's not included. Mash 600. Hawkeye's tent is nicknamed this. I don't know. The swamp. The what? The swamp. S W I M P. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sci fi folks, a thousand. In this movie, a video game champ on Earth becomes a space hero. What is Tron? Uh, Keith buzzed in. He doesn't know. Irene. What is... The last starfighter. Hmm? I've never heard of it. I've heard of it, but never seen it. Rocky 600. She was Rocky's girlfriend, later his wife. Uh, who is Adrian? Adrian! <laughs> yes. Rocky for 400. Daily double. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go 2,000. Oh boy. This is Rocky's last name. What is Balboa? <laughs> yes. 80, uh, 8,400 so far. Whoa. Rocky 800. This actor played the fighter who won the world title in Rocky 3. Is that Dolph Lundgren? Um. Well, uh, Irene spelled it wrong. Didn't get it. Uh, 
uh, I haven't seen this movie in a while. Uh, I don't think it was. I don't think it was Dolph. Who is Mr. T? Oh, I spit in the food. Of course. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. Rocky a thousand. Ivan Drago, Rocky's challenger, Rocky IV, was from this country. Ivan Drago. Oh, I want to say it's Russia. Russia. It was Russia. That's all right. Cities, okay. cities, and countries for two hundred. Paris is its capital. What is France? France. Yeah, I know, folks. That's why it's Jeopardy Junior Edition. <laughs> Correct. Cities and countries for one. Montreal is a city in this country. What is Canada? I know. Some... Oh, I don't care. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Cities and countries 600. Tokyo is its largest city. What is Japan? Six hundred cities and countries, eight hundred. They are the other daily double. Hmm. Let's do another two thousand. Rome and Venice are cities in this country. What is uh, Italy. Italy? Yep. Italy. Correct. Eleven thousand six hundred cities and countries, a thousand. Bombay and Calcutta are its two largest cities. It was India. India, yes. India. Ran through that category as well. Yay! Hey. Uh, animal facts corner. This is the color of a robin's egg. What is blue? I think. Even 13,000. Animal Facts 600. This disease can be caused by an animal's bite. What is rabies? Yep. Animal Facts 800. This is another name for a bison. Yes. Buffalo. <laughs> Buffalo. Correct. Animal facts a thousand. This is another name for a male horse. Uh, stag. What is stallion? I think it's a stallion. I'm gonna say that. A stallion. Oop. Stag. Forgot a letter. It's okay. Stallion. Correct again. Alright, mash 200. This is Corporal O'Reilly's nickname. Uh, well, Keith doesn't know. Radar. R-A-D-A-R. Radar? Uh -huh. Okay. I haven't really watched mash a lot, so. That's correct. 800. This is this soldier dresses in ladies' clothes. Who is Cleo? Oh. Irene buzzed in. Doesn't know it. Klinger. Hi, I N T R. Klinger. Okay. Yep. I L Y N. Okay. Got it. That's right. So. This game looks to be in the bag so far. So, last one for a thousand. Henry Blake, the commanding officer, holds this rank. Uh, Colonel! Uh, Keith buzzed in. He got it, Colonel. That's alright. So, 2,500 for Keith. He has second. Irene has 2,000. I have 16,400. Wow! And now it's time for Final Jeopardy. So, pretty much, I could just win the whole thing, but we'll see. The Final Jeopardy category is Mountains. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh, I got a big lead. I'll try 2,000 again. Keith 
is going to bet 1280. And Irene will bet a thousand. Here's the, the clue or the answer. <clears throat> Carved on Mount Rushmore are heads of Lincoln, Washington, Jefferson, and this president. Lincoln, Washington, Jefferson. I heard the bell. Okay. Roosevelt. All right, Keith. <clears throat> Who is Theodore Roosevelt? He says, "Well, I said Roosevelt." So we'll see if he'll take it or not, or if I have to be more specific. Let's see. Theodore Roosevelt. All right, and the answer is Theodore Roosevelt. Well, they took it from me. Okay, so I got it. So 18,400. So there you go. Keith got it right, and Irene got it right, but it doesn't matter. So I win the game with 18,400. Yay, and stuff. Add that to my total of 4,800. 18,400. 18,400, right? Yep. Plus 4,800, that's a grand total. Oh. Plus. That's a total of $23,200 in two games. And that's it for this game of Jeopardy! The Junior Edition of the NES. Enjoy, and you all take care.